Hello and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your fishing. Today we're going to tie a dry fly and it's a high volume caddis. And what's a high volume caddis? It's a caddis fly, obviously, and it has a lot of materials that's going to help it float. Uh, not quite like a cork, but uh, very high on the water, which makes it uh, ideal for those rapid currents and also as a dry dropper fly. So let's get into tying. I have in the vise a size 14 dry fly hook and I'll be tying with uh, camel thread, which is 10 -0. And I'm going to start the tying just about a mil behind the eye and wind down the thread and trim up the excess down to the rear of the shank probably in line to where the barb might have been. Okay, the body material, this is a high floating yarn and it's caddis tan, as you can see, uh, but the yarn is uh, quite long fibers. So what I'm going to do is just cut that into smaller lengths, about half an inch, centimeter, something of that nature. And I'm going to mix that with some hairs here, about 50-50. Uh, and I'm just going to mix that together with my finger and thumb, or fingers and thumbs. And what you will actually get is a high floating, spiky dubbing. So let's put some of this on. Try and keep it fairly tight. And you need to wind this on about two thirds of the way. And that should be enough. Just take that excess off, put it to the side and tidy up. Right now there will be an under wing and I'm going to use some um, CDC. And I've mentioned many times about cutoffs and using leftover pieces of uh, CDC. So that's exactly what this is. It's been used on a previous tying. So I'm just going to tie that in a couple of wraps and then I'm going to pull it through. Try and keep it on top. And you don't want it hanging over too far of the rear of the fly. and trim up the excess and tidy up. I hope you can see that. Simple part of the operation. Right now for the overwing, uh, you can really use whatever you like. Um, this is elk hair and it's from the, the cow of an elk, but it's quite thick in its, uh, in its fibers. Uh, this is deer hair, um, not quite as thick, uh, but still a little bit thicker than I would like. So I'm going to use some bull elk hair, which is a, a light colored, and it's fairly fine in the thickness of the fiber. So I'm just going to take a, a few fibers off I'll cut them off the patch. Right now I'm going to take out all of the loose ends and fluff. And we'll put that in the stacker. And tap that on your bench. And hopefully they should come out fairly even. Right, there is one inverted. 
another one broken. Right now I'm going to uh, measure those up for length and trim off the excess and tie that in. Now it will fan out, which is what you want. And you will have this excess at the front, which we will trim up. Now just take your time. It uh, doesn't need to be perfect. It's not like that we are building up a body or a head. So just trim up these pieces. We'll do some trimming up at the end as well, if necessary. And bind down the deer hair and tidy up. Right, now we are going to put on a parachute on the front of this. Now what you use for the post is entirely up to you. I'm going to use some uh, orange glow bright. This is number seven. You can use whatever color suits your eye. And of course suits the conditions that you are fishing in. Uh, it may be prudent to tie with more than one color if you're going to tie a batch of them. And I'll just tie this onto the top. A couple of wraps. And a couple of wraps around the base. To secure it in place. And uh, for the parachute, I'm going to use some plain brown hackle. Um, this is just from a collar. I'll just select one from the back here. You want something that's fairly substantial to help hold up uh, this, this fly. So I'm just going to get rid of all this fluff from the bottom. Trim it up. and tie it in. Right, I'll trim up that excess stalk. Now I'm going to tie the hackle to the post. So I'm going to put some more of the uh, dubbing on for the thorax. those fibers and tidy up. Right now you may want to use a gallows tool for doing this but uh, it's not conducive to videoing a gallows tool so I'm going to do it by hand uh, which is never an easy task. I'm going to start a little bit up the base of the post and wind down. And the more turns that you put on, the stiffer the base becomes and makes it a little more easier for winding on the parachute. You want a fairly substantial uh, parachute to hold up this fly at the front. And 
Uh, that's better, that's enough. So I'll cross over the thread, pull back the fibers and create the head. And now I'm going to use a half inch tool to tie it off. Like so, trim up the tying thread. And I'm going to put uh, a little glue on the knot. And I'm going to do that uh, from underneath. Like so. And trim up the hackle. Now the post, you can have the post as tall as you like, uh, whatever suits you, like so. Right now let's have a look at the the hairdressing section. Just trim up some of these loose hackles underneath, uh, loose fibres of the deer hair. Right, now I will just brush out the, the thorax a little. And there you have the, uh, the finished high volume caddis. I hope you enjoyed the tying. This is a super uh, caddis tying for the conditions that I've already uh, suggested. Just going to trim up some of these loose hair fibers here. If you're not already a subscriber, Consider being so, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for viewing. Goodbye.